when Bloomberg put out an article on Microsoft buying Activision Blizzard and everything else, but with this article, Charlie Intel came out saying, breaking. Bloomberg reports that the next three Call of Duty games will release on PlayStation and near the end, has it in quotes, Warzone 2 in development. If Warzone 2 does happen, it makes sense because now Call of Duty Warzone has every weapon, literally every weapon from Modern Warfare 2019 when the first Warzone iteration came out all the way to Vanguard and that's three games and with all the attachments and everything like that it makes the game size so much bigger each year and it comes to the point where you got to be like okay we can't just keep adding stuff to this from the last Call of Duty games into Warzone so instead we have a point where we just basically wipe the slate clean and start again and in the Bloomberg article, they say the deal also includes a planned new iteration of Call of Duty Warzone, the lucrative free-to-play game that was released in 2020. I don't think Warzone 2 will actually happen. I think everything will be taken out of Call of Duty Warzone and basically given a fresh whole new weapons and Vanguard weapons may be there and they'll probably keep the Modern Warfare weapons and then add say another 20 more weapons from Modern Warfare 2 2022 which could be something that they actually do which in my personal opinion would probably be the way to go because you started with Modern Warfare in 2019 and you're basically going to finish with Modern Warfare 2 2022.